Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to create seamless repeating patterns with Canva for print on demand products. Head to create a design. Click custom size. This document is going to be 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. Click create new design. So the first thing you want to do is head to file view settings and hide your margins and your print bleed. So in the left hand toolbar, go to elements and this particular design is going to be Christmas themed, but you can type right in the search bar, whatever elements you're using for your seamless repeating pattern. In this example, I'm doing a document that's 3000 by 3000 pixels. You want to make sure that whatever print on demand company that you're using, you make sure you find out what their specifications are for their files. So before I recorded this video here, I actually played around with the elements and creating the pattern beforehand. So now I'm just going to find all of those elements that I used, and then we can start designing our seamless repeating pattern. So just a little tip, these repeating patterns don't have to be for print on demand products. You can use them for other things as well. You can sell digital papers. You can use these as wallpapers on your computer screen or your phone. The options are endless. So once you have all your elements, now you have to arrange them. Here I'm making them a little bit smaller. I did change the color of the ornament so that it would match better with the other elements on the page. You do want to keep in mind as you're arranging your elements that these elements here that we're seeing now are going to become the foundation for your pattern. You want to make sure they're spaced out how you like them. So once you have all your elements placed, you want to select them all. And I decided to make them a little bit bigger once I highlighted all of them. So I think they were about 1600 by 1600. And you can tell by when you're dragging it and making it larger, there's a little cursor that shows you the size. Once you have them all selected, you're going to group them and then place them in the center of the document. Once you grab the group, just make sure that when you put it to the center, the two pink lines show up, a horizontal and vertical line. Once your group is selected, you're going to copy and paste. So I'm going to do each part of this separately. So here you see me taking that first copy and dragging it to the upper left hand corner. And when you drag your group, you're going to make sure that the two pink lines show up right in the corner. So now I'm going to copy and paste the grouped elements again. And I'm going to take that copy and drag it to the upper right hand corner. And you want to make sure that the two pink solid lines show up at the edge of the document. So here's the third group. You take the grouped elements and move them down to the lower right hand corner. And again, we're going to copy and paste the grouped elements. And then this time we're going to drag them into the lower left hand corner. You'll know they're in the proper spot once the horizontal and vertical solid pink lines show up on the outer edge of the document. So I'm actually going to duplicate this page and you can choose to do this as well, but I did it just in case I need to come back to that original tile. So now we have our first tile for the repeating pattern. You can decide to leave it like this, but there will be some empty spaces within the tile. So when you repeat the pattern, it'll just be a lot of white space. So now back on page one, we're going to fill in these empty gaps. So now we're going to grab a few more elements to fill in those empty spaces within our tile. You can use whatever elements or themes for your seamless repeating pattern. 
At the end of the video, I'm going to show you one I just threw together with some random circles. Just to show that it can truly be done with any elements. So any spot that you see a lot of white space, you want to fill in with some elements. So here I'm choosing a few different ones than the elements that I used for the original block. You can change the color of them or you can just pick entirely different elements like I'm doing here. So an important thing to note about adding in those additional elements, you want to make sure none of them go off the edge of the document. So any elements you add after you've arranged your initial grouped ones, you want to keep those within the square. So once you have your tile created, you want to head to share and you want to download it as a PNG. So I named page one large tile one and page two large tile two. So now what I'm going to do is add two blank pages. So page three is going to be for large tile one. So we can see how that looks once it's repeated. And page four is going to be large tile two repeated. So here's that first tile that we made. Now what we're going to do is position this in the upper left hand corner. In the bottom right hand corner, we're going to reduce the size of the square to 1500 by 1500. And you can see the dimensions as I drag. Once you get that initial square size to 1500 by 1500, you just copy and paste that square three more times and put it in each of the remaining corners. And you do want to make sure when you're moving the squares around that the horizontal and vertical pink lines show up. And so here you can see where the white space that I was talking about. But if this is the look that you're going for, you can keep this as is. But here you can really see the repeating pattern. So here's that tile with the added elements to fill in the white space. So again, drag that square into the upper left corner. Grab the bottom right corner and reduce the size to 1500 by 1500. And copy and paste three times. And I like to do each copy separately so that way I can arrange it properly and make sure that the horizontal and vertical pink lines show up. So you can see with this pattern it's filled in more because we added in those elements and it really livens up the seamless repeating pattern. And also at this point, if you see there's like other spots that may need to be filled in or you kind of want to change how it looks, you can go back to, in my case, uh, page one and you can kind of move some things around. You can add more things or if you want to change the color, you can do that. You would download it again as a PNG and test out the pattern. But here is the first page repeating pattern and here's the second page repeating pattern. And then these are just the individual tiles that we use to create the repeating pattern. I zoomed in here so you can see that there's no gap and this is indeed a seamless pattern. So here I'm just making a quick seamless repeating pattern using circles. I'm gonna speed up this part just so you can see the repeating pattern itself, but it also shows you that you can use any elements to create a seamless repeating pattern. So there are many print on demand companies that you can choose to sell your print on demand products through. I personally sell on Printful and Redbubble. I do have an affiliate link in the description for Printful. And I will also link to a few more print on demand companies. If you want a more detailed video on how to create these seamless repeating patterns or how to sell print on demand products, let me know in the comments. So this concludes the video to how to create seamless repeating patterns in Canva 
that you can use to create print-on-demand products. If you found this video helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. Consider subscribing for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy Holidays!